I know you're not a big fan of Subway. Uh, I love Subway sandwiches. Uh, there's something about them that feels homie? like it just hips. <laughs> no, definitely not homey. I, d- I don't know what it is because it is very, um, it- it's borderline fast food tasting to me. Like this chicken ain't really chicken. I load up with a lot of vegetables. Maybe that's what I like. I just like to mix things up. There's always something about the quality that it makes. Like, oh, it's so yummy. And maybe in my mind, I'm thinking, no, it's actually healthier than most things. That's why I eat them. Like, it's a healthy sandwich. But now the truth has come out. <laughs> Is it healthy? Well, let's um, let's put it this way, right? Um, over in Ireland, its Supreme Court has ruled... And the, the, this is the crazy part, the fact that the Supreme Court has to rule anything about Subway. But basically, what they're saying is that Subway cannot legally classify its bread as bread. Why? <laughs> because apparently Subway bread has so much sugar in it that they say, no, you need to consider this as a confectionery, what? which is a fancy word for uh, candy what exactly so and they do this for tax reasons but basically there's like subway you are not a bread shop because what you sell is not sugar bread. it's literally it's loaded with so much sugar now i know why i love subway sandwiches so much the bread is so like yum 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 really we should try it i want to see i want to see the difference you eat subway all the time what are you talking about no with other bread oh like just like a side-by-side yeah. taste test yes. comparison yes Okay, we can do that. Right? Yeah. We can try that just with our, you know, main bread, but like the other breads too, because the other breads are loaded with so much stuff. Like even if you never put anything in a Subway sandwich, the fact that they load it up with like butter and cheese and on it's top. Already and how tastes they, good it itself. literally is like a meal in itself without ever having like shove Subway stuff in it. But no yeah, I mean, this is what way. it's come down to. And I was like, all right, this is the craziest thing I've ever heard. But yeah, Subway, you know, is disputing this because there's a tax implication. But yeah, apparently Ireland has some very complex definitions for like what kind of foods can get taxed and not taxed, like hot food versus cold food. I actually think that happens here in the U.S. Like there are certain types of foods in certain places where you like if you decide to toast the bread, it suddenly turns to a hot meal from a cold meal, and there's a different tax bracket that you have to pay ah. for that. Oh, yeah, you, but a lot of people don't know this because it's just minor. A lot of places don't tell you, but it does happen. And that's something that also happens in, in Ireland. Ireland, too. Yeah. They really have to, like, study and test their... They pretty much have to give the recipe away of, like, how much sugar was right. in their bread. This is how they define it, right? To be considered bread, mm-hmm. like, the overall weight of the dough, um, no more than 2% of it can be sugar. No more than 2%. Just 2%. So it's very, very low, right? Okay. That being said, if you put 10% of anything as sugar, like imagine your coffee, like if it was 10% sugar, that's like, that would be feeling like it's overload. But apparently, yeah, uh, for Subway bread, it's about 10%. No. So imagine like if you had a cup of coffee and one-tenth of it is just like a layer sugar. of sugar. Right. That's how much sugar is in the bread. Now I'm so interested to like try. Well, now I know I'm not going to eat a lot more Subway on go because I thought that was a quick pathway to eating healthy. Don't you think it's the same thing with other sandwiches? um, It's an interesting question. I don't know what's the case for other Subway places, like if their breads are like that. But if you go and buy regular bread, like like I said, the supermarket, it's about 2%. That being said, right, there are breads known around the world that have very high sugar content like bread from sweden apparently has very high sugar content like over 10 percent. it's like a like a sweet bread Uh, yeah and we go to like chinese um bakeries all the time yes yes and their breads for sure are (laughs) loaded with sugar that's why they love sugar and butter but it's a very different kind of bread you know chinese bread is not just plain bread they put stuff in it right it's almost Mm -hmm. like a little sandwich pre-made sandwich right um but it's definitely not healthy it's probably much worse than subway is but there you go it's official subway (laughs) bread it's not bread it's candy i don't know how i feel about that it's candy that's why you you like it that's why i like it that's why it's addictive